you'd agree with me that the best way to onboard or engage users on your app is through tour sessions like this and i'll be showing you how you can do this on your bubble app right now okay guys so what you want to do now is to install this plugin walkthrough onboarding tour this one here okay by any walkthrough onboarding tour okay so after installing that you want to go to your option set okay and set up your options so here i've set up mine i just have this option set called tour okay and i have options one two three four five six okay you can name it whatever you want but just make sure it's in order of how you want your walkthrough to go right so in essence this is step one step two step three like that okay also make sure that um your options have attributes body which is type text id type text and title type text okay now within these attributes um you'd have of course the display okay and then the body now we also have the body right and then the title and the id okay so the body would be the body of that particular step okay and if you want to have an image within it like i have here okay like i have an image here right if you would like to have that just get your image url all right and just put it immediately after okay after the body so for instance the body here is let's begin and followed by a space then the url of the image okay it's as simple as that then the title then the id okay so basically it's the same with everything right okay so the body of this one too but without an image the title and the id now make sure that um, this id right is the same thing with the id of the element you want to point to in your step okay for instance this is my first step this is the id which is step one okay i also have this this element here that i want to point to during the onboarding this is step three step four i think i have step two here so basically make sure the id is the same thing with the id of the elements you'd be pointing to during your walkthrough all right so after you've set up those you want to go to your design tab and just pick this walkthrough here this walkthrough elements here okay it has an element which is just one so this walkthrough element right you take it yeah and just put it on your page just anyway on your page right okay so i'll clear these ones and then pass them in so that you guys can see how i'm passing them in okay so it has um ids title and body fields which is compulsory right so to pass in the ids just refer to the option set and my option set is this one this store here and make sure you just pass in all options okay after that refer to each items id because i'm passing in id now each items id okay so format as text okay so contents to show by item will just be this text 
and then you separate it by double comma guys this is very important so the delimiter must be double comma then just close that okay same thing with this so titles will be get an option so all option so this will be each item title okay and formatted as text again okay contents to show per item would be this text then double commas all right so for the last one i'm just going to be copying this and just edit so instead of title i'll just change this this one to each items bodies okay so that will be body okay formatted as text this text then the delimiter will be double comma right so guys here you also have um, options of you know formatting is to match your apps branding so for the tooltip itself there is background color and it also has a border color right these are the defaults but you can change it to suit your apps branding so we have the title color and the body color all right so that is this one here this is the title color this is the body color over there and then for the button there is the background of the button the text of the button and the border of the button and so guys that is how to set it up basically it's as simple as that okay so guys to start the walkthrough i'm using a button here so yours could be on page load or any other events you want to attach to it i'll be using a button click so when you click on this button edit workflow so what i'm just doing is I'm just going to delete this and put it again so that you guys can see um it's called start a walkthrough okay start a walkthrough and we just have one element on our page so it's as easy as that so let's see this in preview mode okay so guys it's as simple as that that is how to add a walkthrough to onboard or engage your users in your bubble app thanks guys